All right, everyone. The year is 2024, and Apple is about to unveil one of its most awaited products, entering a fresh category, the Apple Vision Pro, potentially launching as soon as February. Today's discussion will revolve around what is the Vision Pro and some key points that lead me to believe the Vision Pro will be a success, despite its steep starting price. Make sure you stay tuned, especially for that last point. It might just be the game changer that tips the scales. Let's dive into it. Now Vision Pro isn't merely Apple's version of virtual reality, it's quite distinct. It's a headset designed for augmented or mixed reality, depending on your interpretation of these concepts. Essentially, it superimposes virtual elements onto your real-world surroundings. Apple says this is a spatial computer. It's not a headset that you need to tether to something else or requires a MacBook to work. The Vision Pro runs on the M2 chip from Apple, identical to the one found in the latest MacBook Air and Mac Mini models. It boasts a significant amount of processing strength. In fact, it could very well be the most potent AR headset on the market. Judging by its specifications alone, Apple is launching it alongside a handful of first-party apps that you'd expect, such as Safari, Messages, Keynote, Apple Music, Apple TV, and FaceTime. Essentially, the usual essential applications you'd find on Macs and iPhones. I think one of the reasons it will be a success is actually that expensive price point. Given that Apple has set the price at $3,500, at this cost, one could purchase an iPhone, an iPad, and a MacBook Air essentially acquiring the entire Apple ecosystem. However, at this price level, Apple is aware that it's not going to appeal to everyone. It's targeted at those who are eager to experience the cutting-edge technology, are deeply integrated into the Apple ecosystem, and possess the financial means to afford it. Initially, Apple is producing only 400,000 units of this product. So at $3,500, they know that this is not going to sell millions of units moving forward, because it's for a certain type of individual. Also, there are some basic gestures that will serve as the foundation of how the Vision Pro will work. It's known that this device will operate without controllers, relying solely on the tracking of eye movement and hand positions. The Vision Pro is designed to monitor both the direction of your gaze and the duration of your focus on an object. When you fix your eyes on a particular item, a gentle hover effect will be triggered. Look a little longer, and the headset will know you're interested so some buttons will reveal tooltips or open up a tab. Or if you stare at the microphone symbol, it will trigger speak to search. Certainly, hands are equally crucial as eyes in operating the Vision Pro, serving as the main mode of interaction throughout the platform. Apple asserts that you can keep your hands comfortably on your lap while executing gestures. Owing to the Vision Pro's 12 cameras, fundamental gestures include pinching your fingers to select, pinching and dragging to scroll, pinching and pulling to zoom in, and pinching with a twist to rotate. Now, let's dive into the next reason. Drop your thoughts below on Apple's plans with the Vision Pro. Are you looking forward to it? Will you be getting one for yourself? Do you think it's too expensive for just one single tech product? Let me know in the comments. In the initial preview, it was revealed that a new function named Digital Persona will essentially act as your stand-in during video conferences. The concept behind this is that your persona will act as an electronic counterpart, imitating not only your looks, but also your real-world gestures. For those curious about the user experience of this feature, the persona registration clip demonstrates the use of the Vision Pro's visual interface to guide individuals through the process of capturing their persona. Reports suggest that the Vision Pro is designed to gather information on numerous aspects related to your physique. These details encompass the skin tone of your body, face, head, and hair, your approximate stature, and the lengths of your arms, fingers, and various joints. Should you be curious about the method by which the Vision Pro ascertains precise details, like the measurements of your fingers and joints, it's due to the fact that the device requires users to undergo a setup procedure that records their limb dimensions. That's all we think about the Vision Pro for now. All we can do now is look to early February, when the headset actually shows up. Do you even care that it exists when it costs $3,500? Or are you interested in having some cutting-edge tech no matter what the price is? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, press the subscribe button and keep viewing by selecting one of the on-screen cards. Catch you in the following video.